So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Wix. So in today's video, I will discuss with you a very critical question that has been asked from me a quite a large number of times from the beginning. And that question is, is with what academic degree I can go ahead and learn Power BI and related skills as you can see on the screen. Who can learn Power BI? What is the academic degree required to learn this skill and its related skills? Okay. So many of you, I think many, a large number of people are there who have this doubt in their minds whether they should go ahead to learn this skill or not. Okay, if they are some, if they have some different kind of academic qualification. So, okay, so I will, so whatever I will discuss today, I will be dis discussing that on the basis of my observation from different recruiting platforms. And I will show you the same through some snapshots. So let's see few snapshots of the academic qualification required for the post of Power BI developer, which I have collected from Nokri.com, which you know is the most widely used platform for jobs in India. Okay, so that's why I have chosen Nokri only here. So I have collected few snapshots from different companies. I will include the uh, big MNC company also, and I will also include some small sized company also. Okay, so let's see the snapshots of those companies and what are their academic qualification requirement for the post of Power BI developer, which they have recently posted on Nokri. So I've collected the snapshot from there. So let's see the first one. Okay. So first, so the first one is, this is a company called Connect, C O W N E Q Q T. And this is headquartered in Hyderabad. This was formerly a Tata based company. So uh, recently they posted a vacancy for Power BI developer position. And the academic qualification, which you can see in the screen is for the UG, uh, for the undergraduate people, uh, the requirement is BSc in any specialization, BTech or BE in any specialization and BCA in any specialization. Okay. And if you have a post degree, post graduate qualification, so MTech in any specialization or MS or MSc in any specialization or MCA in any specialization. Okay. So, so overall, if you have done BSc or if you have done BTech, BCA, MTech, MS or MCA, you can go ahead and learn Power BI and related skills. So this is just one company. Let's move ahead and see some other companies requirements also. So let's move to the second one. So this is a vacancy posted by TCS recently on Nokri. So as you can see here, their requirement is that BCA in any specialization, BTech or BE in any specialization or BSc in computers. Okay. So if you have degree related to these, then you should, you can definitely go ahead and learn Power BI. Okay. So this is regarding TCS, which, which is the most largest service provider company in India as of now. Let's move to the third company and let's see the requirement. So for EY, the requirement for academic qualification for the Power BI developer position was BTech or BE in any specialization. Okay. So they didn't include any uh, B, BSc or BCA or, uh, or any other graduates. Okay. So they are only focusing on BTech or BE specialized people. Okay. So this was regarding EY. Let's move ahead with the next one. Fourth one. This is Global Logic Company. And here you can see they have given the requirement as any graduate. Okay. Any graduate can apply for this position, which is for Power BI developer. So this is also. So Global Logic is also a very large sized company. It is also an MNC and uh, as you can see here, they are allowing any graduate. So people who have degrees like BA or who have degrees like BCom, they can also apply and they can also learn Power BI and related skills. Okay. So this is the fourth one which I wanted to show you all. So now let's move to the fifth okay. one and let's see what is the uh, company called. So this is a, uh, this is another MNC Optum company. Okay. So for them also. Uh, the education, the academic qualification requirement is any graduate and PG for PG also any post graduate. Okay. So what we have observed from all these snapshots that I have showed to you that if you have done BTEC or BE in any specialization, then you can definitely learn Power BI and related skills and apply in every company because every company is recruiting the BTEC or BE guys. Okay. They don't have to think about anything and they already know about this, right? But what about those people who are from other degrees, for example, BSc, for example, BCA, uh, BCom, BA. So for all those people, I have shown you the companies are also are also accepting those degrees. Okay. These are collected from Nokri. So that means they have they are recruiting for all those people also who, ha who have any graduate degree also. So 
overall what i can say is if you are a btech or a bei there is no problem for you but if you are a other graduate like bc bcom and bsc and all then definitely you can't apply for every company and every company will not give you a call okay but you have the opportunities it's it is not that you don't get you, you can't get the opportunity your opportunities are there but it is limited but it is not that you can't learn power bi you can definitely go ahead and learn power bi if you don't like coding if you are not interested to go in the software developer roles then definitely you can come in data analytics domain and learn this skill power bi okay and one thing more i want to add here other people on youtube or other platforms if it, if they are saying that just directly learn power bi in some couple of months and start applying for the positions that is wrong okay you keep this in mind that only power bi will not give you a job because the competition is tough nowadays okay because more and more people are coming to this domain and learning this skill okay so you need to have some extra skills which are related to power bi and then only you will have a much better chance than other people in the market and the other skills will be uh, sql any etl tool maybe alteryx maybe ssis maybe tailend okay whichever uh, whichever you think you can learn the fastest and and ssas that is the tableau model so if you have all these related skills along with power bi then definitely your chance of getting recruited in this market as of now is much higher than the other people okay so keep all these things in mind and, and now let me also show you the salaries that are being offered to the people with, with different experience ranges okay so let's see what does the fresher gets like the people who are uh, having experience from 0 to 1 years so as you can see here the minimum salary offered is 2.4 lpa and the maximum salary offered is 4.2 lpa okay so these are authentic numbers so whatever fancy numbers are told to you by other people on other platforms don't believe on those numbers blindly okay so these are some authentic numbers and these are being offered to the people okay so let me know in the comment box who who are those freshers who are being offered this much of low salary also so that people also get you know that these are the real salaries okay and the maximum salary as you can see here is 4.2 lpa with 0 to 1 years of experience okay then let's move ahead with the 2 to 3 years of experience okay so here as you can see here your minimum salary is 5.4 lpa and your maximum salary is 11 lpa okay and now let's see what does 4 to 6 years of 4 to 6 years of experience salary ranges so for 4 to 6 years of experience the salary ranges from 13 lpa as you can see here 13 lpa to 22 lpa okay so what you have seen as your experience is increasing in this field from 0 to 6 years your salary is increasing exponential so if you are a fresher just have some patience keep doing the work and gradually when your experience will be increased your salary with proper strategies and with proper switches your salary will be also ex increasing ex exponentially okay so i hope all of your doubts has been clear till now if you have watched this video till now and and please share this video to all your friends and colleagues who are starting their career in data analytics domain who are, who are, who are thinking of learning power bi or or who have already started learning power bi so please share the video to all of them. So that's it for this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.